What's going on guys? This is Sky Powered Actual. Um, tonight we'll be going over SPP. So for people that are new to picking, that stands for single pen picking. Uh, it's the most deliberate method there is of picking pen and tumbler locks or actually any, any lock. Um, so I've gotten a few questions in my uh, inbox lately about uh, lack of feedback from the core so uh, with single pen picking or raking uh, the biggest things you're that gets overlooked would be your tensioning uh, tensioning is from what from what I understand about picking it is actually more important than picking itself if you can't find out how to tension the, uh, the plug correctly, you won't get the type of feedback you're looking for or any feedback at all. Or you'll seize the core up completely and you'll get no feedback. Uh, so uh, right now I'm gonna go through, uh, this is just a simple 40 millimeter Chinese made laminated lock, uh, nothing special. But we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go through kind of slowly uh, picking this lock uh, using a uh, single pin picking method. So I'm going to tension the core slightly. I'm going to take this uh, slim Euro hook from uh, Southern Specialties and I'm, basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go from the first pin all the way back. So I'll touch it. I see that number one is giving me absolutely no tension or, or resistance whatsoever so I know that's not my binding pin and go to number two number two is not it either so on to number three so three three is the binding pin in this order so from there I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna push past it to number four and I got a small click on four I'm gonna roll back to the beginning on one, I'm getting feedback on one, and there we go. Like I said, tension is the most important thing. So uh, the easiest way for beginners to learn how to tension, I'll have guys start from the hardest amount of tension, like like white knuckling it, and then pretty much testing out the pens uh, in the cylinder, and then degrading their uh, amount, the amount of force on their tensioning from there, and basically just do process of elimination um, to figure out what what the, the parameters of tension for that lock is, because obviously not all locks are the same. Uh, some you can tension super hard, some you can throw an absolute ungodly amount of tension on the core and still get feedback. Um, the, the lighter in most cases, the better, but there are definitely certain locks where you can tension quite, quite a bit and still get really, really good feedback. Um, so I'm gonna switch out the lock now. This rusty old Pacific Lock 100G. And we'll go through the exact same process for these pack locks. I actually like to use top of the keyway tension. Um, top of the keyway tension pretty much just means you're using the top, the, it's, it's actually pretty self-explanatory, using the top of the keyway to allow more room to maneuver for your for your picks. So I'll start out the same way. Nothing on one. A little click on two. Three gave me a big click and set. Four gave me a big set, a big click. Oh wow, that was way easier than I thought it would be. And there we go. So the method works. Um, the higher up in uh, security or 
higher up in security these locks get, the more deliberate your method of setting the pin is going to have to be once you start getting into um, spools and serrated pins, serrated key and driver pins, your method of setting pins is going to have to be a little bit more deliberate and <clears throat> your tensioning is going to have to be a little bit more fine-tuned. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to inbox me and uh, yeah, that is it.